I mean, I'm going to talk about them anyway, but... Hey, how you guys doing today? Hey! We're the Ungodly Geeks. I'm Luke. I'm Joe. And today we're talking about Marvel. <laughs> because that's what we do. Except yes. Luke is looking at videos, so I'm I guess sorry. we're going to fuck that up. I just was like, okay, one more click on Reddit, and I didn't realize it's my new favorite subreddit, uh, Kids Are Fucking Stupid or oh, Kids man. Falling Down, either one of them. Yeah. And it's like a little girl who's running with a suitcase and fucking flips over and face plants <laughs> in the fucking airport. Yeah, no, kids, uh, are, uh, kids Are Fucking Stupid is one of my favorite <laughs> subreddits. I love it. And it's not, like, it's not like hate on kids or anything. They don't sit there and fuck kids and then. No, kids do dumb shit. It's just, yeah, it's just a collection of kids doing stupid shit. And uh, one of my favorite posts on there, which I don't think the tweet exists anywhere, but a screenshot of a tweet um, where a person made quesadillas for dinner or whatever. And um, the little girl in question eats like three fourths of this quesadilla, realizes it says chicken and cheese in it and starts crying because it wasn't pancakes and that her mom broke her little baby heart. <laughs> and the mom's like, I, I didn't fucking say this. it was a pancake, but sure, go off. <laughs> yes. And, like, it's it's hilarious to me. Um, but you guys know, as we do, we always try to start off with uh, News of the Stupid, unless it's a special episode. Yes. Um, so Luke found one this week, and it's almost cheating because it's uh, it's a Florida man thing. Um, but apparently there was a guy named Keith Griffin who was charged this Wednesday with 10 counts of possession of child porn after a thousand illegal images were found on his computer, but he claims it's all the work of his kitty. <laughs> the 48 year old Jensen Beach, Florida man told cops he would leave his computer on and a cat would jump on the keyboard. And just like that, the images would appear. It was all the cat. It was all the, the cat. Time. The cat's been down trying to frame him. The cat's been downloading child porn. Um, <laughs> it was all a fit job I mean, by the cat. Really, dude? Like, did you really think that was going to work? I, I don't understand um, what you're... Uh, no, motherfucker. You're a shitty human being and you deserve to be beaten to death. <laughs> I kind of love the, even the news article the fucking writing it. The, per the person writing it was like... <laughs> Could it be a sinister plot from a vindictive feline? Maybe. After all, cats have been known to play a smooth tune on a keyboard before. But for now, cops have ruled out the kitty as a suspect. <laughs> and he is resting comfortably with one of Griffin's relatives. Yes. I'm so glad. As so I just so there's a happy the ending to this kit. This the kitty is fine. I just want to see the cat sitting on like his nana's lap, all happy and shit. Just like excellent. <laughs> Like the camera zooms in a little bit and the cat just looks and winks or something. Yes. <laughs> like something completely sinister. Um, oh my God. Some other things that I found just because I decided to, to go around quick, and look a little bit. Quick question though before that. Yeah. So thousand images is just 10 counts? Do they fucking bundle them up or? I mean, maybe. Could you imagine how like incredible it would be to charge them on a thousand counts of this? Yeah, it'd be really incredible. It'd right? be go the fuck to jail, motherfucker. I mean, ten counts is more than enough to put you away for for life, right? I um, have no idea. I don't know. I, I, I guess I don't it either. depends on if if I know if they think you've taken the images yourself. Oh, you're it's fucked. way yeah, yeah you're, you're way you're, you're super fucked. You're fucked by the long dick of the law. But I I just wonder like you know uh, how severe that is and why the uh, maybe every ten a hundred images they break it down. <clears throat> Who knows? I don't know. All right, so. Kind of interesting, though. Something I, I ran across recently. Mm -hmm. It's a website called the Tico Times, and I'm not sure if it's an actual news site or if it's satire. <laughs> this is so crazy, it might not be real. But they um, they have an article right now. Uh-oh, what's going on with the camera? Apparently our camera has decided, fuck you. Oh, oh, well, we're still recording. Don't do... Don't do. Don't do. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Technical difficulties. Reading the memory card. Okay. All right. I guess we're good. Tico Times. T I C O. Yep. T I C O. Um, they have a new story, and I I saw this and just was like. I, I had to read it. Mm -hmm. Despite reports, Costa Rica continues to not be an island. And for those <laughs> who, um, 
Despite repeat, re, uh, <clears throat> despite recent reports of the contrary, the Tico Times has confirmed that Costa Rica is not an island. The, this news contradicts a cryon displayed on Monday morning's Fox News and Friends first TV show, which declared Costa Rica an island. Mm. We have confirmed Costa Rica still borders Nicaragua in the north and Panama in the southeast. However, our staff has encountered large bodies of water to the east and west, suggesting Fox News and Friends is at least 50% correct. Perhaps oh. Fox and Friends First was getting a head start on reporting rising sea levels due to climate change, but that doesn't seem like them. Um, for those who are moderately confused, um, Fox News, the, the most, geniuses, the, the most the unbiased, unbiased news, source. On. Um, there was a uh, issue recently in Costa Rica where they had some tainted alcohol that was literally killing people. Right, people were mm. literally dying for this, and so they issued an alert after people died from this and uh, Fox News has an infographic where it's you know different liquors in a row or whatever Costa Rica crisis island issues alert after 19 died from tainted alcohol and if anyone even remotely faintly um, familiar with Central American uh, geography would know that Costa Rica is not an island it's not Puerto Rico guys it's yeah. just not. Uh, I mean, this. I actually, I looked up the the webs the the news website. They're based in Costa Rica, so most of their articles are Costa Rican. Um, they're a legit news website, and I have a lot of respect for them because mocking Fox News, that's always fun. And I, I've got one more mm-hmm. that I have to go over um, because I came across this, and it's hilarious. Um, it's from a website called the Press Democrat. Um, which is a new site in Northern California. Now, was that the Press Democrat or the, Depressed the, Democrat? The Press because Democrat. Because either one I can very much see. Um, <laughs> anyway, this is a very short story, but this I, the headline was what caught me. Uh-huh. Five arrested, four deputies injured, and one horse punched at San Isabel County Fair. <laughs> and one horse punched <laughs> Uh, God. I, this is one of those dumb things. Authorities say four Northern Cal- California deputies were injured, a horse was punched, and five people were arrested in a brawl at the San Islao County Fair. The Modesto Bee says sheriff's deputies watching a line at a beer booth Sunday noticed a man wearing gang clothing who appeared to be drunk and trying to start fights. Authorities say the fair doesn't allow gang symbols or clothing. Mm-hmm. So sheriff's Sergeant Josh Clayton says while deputies talked to that man, another man began throwing punches, hitting two deputies, and other crowd members got involved. Authorities said a man punched a sheriff's department horse and had knocked him down, spilling his beer. Those arrested could be charged with assault on a peace officer. The department says the deputies and the horse are fine. I would love they have to point that out. Yeah, like really, <laughs> just drunken idiots being drunken idiots. I mean, um, you get enough drunk people in the same area at the same time, dumb shit happens. Dumb shit happens. Yeah, no. Um, there's one other story. That is kind of news. It, it's not not necessarily news the stupid. It's one of the ballsiest things I think I've ever heard of someone doing. Oh, yeah. So at a recent press conference uh, Donald Trump was speaking at, uh, one of the aides there, uh, and I don't think it's a White House aide. I could no, be wrong. No, no, it was the TPUSA aide. Yeah, who that, changed the, people the fucking that were... symbol of the, United, uh, the president of the United States to a Russian eagle holding golf clubs. <laughs> um, yeah, he he found um, a doctored image of the presidential seal online yeah. that was basically saying that the president is a puppet. Yeah, yep. a Russian puppet <laughs> plays a lot of golf. Oh, I saw that and was like, holy shit, that dude's crazy. I mean, he's been fired, but that's pretty. I mean, you know, that's that, going out with style. That is definitely going. You're pranking out with the style. president of the United States, no matter which president it is. Yeah, that's for still sure. pretty legit. Um, well, here's here's something I want to talk about. Well, not. Yeah. There's a vlogger that dies live streaming himself eating poisonous centipede and lizards. Um, a Chinese vlogger named only by a surname Sun was reportedly found lifeless in his flat of this bizarre stunt. Um, he was basically a vlogger for the Chinese version of Twitch. Yeah. Which is called a Do You TV. Do and, You TV. I like yeah. that name. That's a good name. It is a great name. It's a fucking great name. What he did was he was doing a, 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 a challenge, which he was trying to gain him more followers online. He was basically eating... Uh, that's always smart. Oh, yeah. He was eating poisonous uh, centipedes, geckos, mealworms, vinegar, eggs, beer, and baiju, which is a clear distilled liquor. Uh-huh. Um, 
the thing is, the thing that kills me is like the dude had like fifteen thousand followers on this platform. Like, why are you eating poisonous shit? I just what is I don't know what the title of it is called. I've only seen a few videos where it's kind of like uh, uh, the closest thing I think of is mukbang. But instead, it's this dude, and he, I'm assuming he's a Chinese dude. He, yeah. he could be anything, Korean, whatever. He's an Asian guy. Um, and he's got a bunch of various alcohols, plus he's usually smoking a cigarette. Like, like cigarettes are, are not supposed to be cool, but this dude looks cool smoking a fucking cigarette. That's, his, that, that's like, the best description I can give. Right, is right. He just has that fucking look on his face, and he fucking, like, inhales half the cigarette in one drag. And it's like, I don't care. That's fucking cool. But he takes and he has like a shot. He's like lights the cigarette. He's smoking, lights the shot with the cigarette, uh, shakes it, blows it out. I think he pours it in something else. Yeah, he starts yeah. like mixing things. He's got one big ass bottle of what I'm assuming is beer that he's taking shots of liquor. He's got that beer. He starts swirling it and like tr- dumping like live eels or like little uh, like like um, um, they almost look like. Uh, the things that uh, suck your blood uh, leeches. leeches like he's pouring them in there and shit it's like the wildest shit and then he fucking spins it and downs it in one fucking bowl goes back to smoking on the cigarette and exhales and it's just like Ehh. I like and it's like the most badass shit you've ever seen you, I watched the video and I'm just like I'm just like I'm just clapping that's impressive I wonder if this dude was kind of trying to copy that he was not okay. um, what he he's had he's just is, doing he challenges had a, uh, he had a wheel that he would spin <laughs> whatever it landed on that's what he consumed yeah um, the funny thing the dude died on stream oh Jesus Christ um, like that's when the po- when the police later found his ki- like when the police came in and checked his body and all that his camera was still running when his body was found um so yeah that's that's fucking insane his last live stream session was last thursday at 7 53 p.m i i don't know if that was local time to the site who reported this which was the mirror mm-hmm. or china wherever he is in china um but but yeah it's like oh my god dude that's in that's insane but, you know, people are, are going to be fucking stupid and do dumb shit for yeah. clicks and views and likes. Which reminds me, did you see that Instagram model that cried because uh, Instagram removed likes on public likes on things so that kids no. aren't uh, damaged by the site? Yeah, uh, Instagram made a move recently where they removed public likes from, certain, from some things. And there was an Instagram model crying about it in one of her videos because... Um, you know, no, because she wanted her likes. What do you mean? So they were people that like the, the public likes, like like publics can't look at something and say, oh, there's 153,000 likes on this. Yeah. yeah so something like oh, that. Oh, so, okay. I, I did hear something about that where they were like mm-hmm. trying, but they're not doing it universally. There's like kind of a lot of problems. I with have the way no idea. Instagram is going. I don't know. I, I heard that part of the controversy, not that some lady was crying over it. Yeah. There was but some, I heard there's there some, some Instagram model that cried over that. Like, mm-hmm. really, bitch? I, I thought I heard something about that they would like like they were taking it off of certain people but like celebrities still had all of their likes and stuff i don't know it, it was something like that the typical like youtube every once in a while yeah had some bullshit where hey so why is this getting away with this content still monetized still getting shown you know front page or suggested and everything and then mm-hmm. somebody says ass two minutes into a video and they're demonetized and you'll never see them trending with hey. two million views in the first 10 minutes it's like the same thing with with like titty streamers on twitch while they do things that are like very obviously rule breaking yeah and then you'll have and they, they have like tens of thousands hundreds of thousands of followers and then you got like the one dude over here in the back alley with like 50 followers who says you know something uncouth one time in a stream and he's banned he's banned for life yeah. yeah it's like oh but she can flash her vulva and it'd be fine <laughs> but I sit there and say you know fuck the Jews or some obscenely terrible thing like that and I get banned yeah you know like oh okay so that's how it works yeah and no i don't hate jews i'm i'm not anti-semitic or they say they like even saying it in a joke yeah in yeah a, uh like whatever not just a not not being like an anti-semitic like dickhead yeah channel but like they, they say a joke like not offensive like, to someone and 
like a one random off color. Look, you know that that's kind of part of the reason why I haven't really been regularly streaming on Twitch because I make jokes like that. I make bad dark humor jokes because that's who I am. I, I so it would be really terrible to sit there and get banned for some dumb shit like that. Yeah. I had like two people watching my stream and I say something like that and one of them gets offended and reports me and the next thing I know my channel is gone. I still miss when fucking Twitch was so bad about that that they had an entire game that nobody watched but people would just go and just start streaming porn and movies and shit. <laughs> Uh, that was funny. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, so, uh, Marvel, man. Yeah. Fucking phase four. So Comic-Con happened. It was uh, kind of lackluster overall. Like, uh, I mean, it was one of those things I didn't even know was happening. Yeah. Until, like, last night when you said, hey, we got stuff from Comic-Con. I'm like, Comic-Con happened? Yeah, I think my favorite thing that happened, the first thing I saw was the uh, Jay and Silent Bob reboot trailer. Which looks amazing. Which looks really, really fucking funny. Yeah, I, I'm I'm ready for that. I'm down. Um, I want. Give me, give me, give me, yeah. give me. Uh, I kind of do. I kind of want to go to uh, Columbus to Col- watch it. Yeah, yeah. maybe. It's a, it's a tempting idea. Yeah. But uh, yeah, that, that was the first thing I saw. And then it was like nothing for days until finally marvel had their show um and they they kevin Feige, i guess kevin Feige, i don't know who got out there and fucking they just were like hey here's phase four <laughs> and just fucking went thing after thing after thing and they did panels and stuff right right um and like like we had talked about you know oh, what's gonna be next and the first fucking thing is um the black widow movie yep which i mean it's coming yeah. out next year I'm kind of uh, kind of interested in that, you know. She's uh, uh, she's like she's an interesting character, Black yeah. Widow. Like she's completely out of place, I believe, still in like all the superheroes and shit. You know, because I say that until just, you get the mantis, and right. then I'm like, well, Black Widow's pretty awesome comparatively. <laughs> it's true, because the mantis was just some actor. Like really? I didn't know in the in Marvel comics. Yeah. Um, that she had had, I don't know if it was Super Soldier or something. Yeah. Black Widow was actually uh, immortal. She nev- doesn't age in the comics, at least in whatever one edition I was like watching somebody talk about. So I was like, oh, she, she comic wise, she is a super powered. She being. has she has some sort of where'd she get that power from? <laughs> no idea. Probably Russian experiments. Who knows? Okay, but. Um, Black Widow and the the like the little tidbits like what they showed the public um, they I, I think they showed like teeny little clips they there was somebody who was allowed to record there they don't stream anything at Comic Con they didn't show any trailers right, apparently right. there were some title sequences right um, but all you got was like the announcement and the big thing was like the ca- they showed some of the casting right um and i don't remember many of them but i know the guy from stranger things did david harbour something harbour um the police officers from stranger yeah, things david harbour yeah that's right here and um hellboy the recent unfortunate hellboy uh he's in this and uh i think he's a cool actor so i'm down for that some people think he's going to be the there's a russian version of captain america i mean that's exactly what this is saying here yeah. alexei uh, shostakov aka the red guardian a costume hero created by the russians is a communist counterpart to captain america yeah which because he said well i guess in the the, the little q a they do um he, someone asked him about his feelings on captain america and he said something like they would it's complicated we have a history mm-hmm. which makes doesn't make any sense if yeah. it happens, you know, when it happens, it's kept, yeah. you know, been gone. I don't know. Either way, I think it's interesting. I think it'd also be interesting if they introduce the, um, the, the essential com, the, the fucking, what's his goddamn name? There's a, a communist a version, a Russian version of Iron Man. Um, <laughs> that's also interesting, but he's in like, it's almost, it, the it's almost what they did in the first Iron Man movie. Yeah. That the way the, the fucking villain had the giant fucking Iron Man suit. Right. The Russian Iron Man is like that. He's just got this massive fucking bulky, huge armor, uh, that 
you know, Iron Man flies circles around and shit. Uh, right. Iron, maybe he's Iron Pat. No, he's not Iron Patriot. No, that's, that, the other. that's the other one. That was the you know War Machine before he's the war Iron machine. Comrade. That's- it's something like that, or it's it's like uh, the fucking. Let's go with stereotypes, right? <laughs> it's it, it's something fucking Red Curtain. I don't know <laughs> the Red Curtain. the Red the, yeah. But um, I don't I, like. There's there's quite a few different characters that since you're doing a movie that's going to be focused sort of in in Russia, they confirmed it's gonna it's gonna show um, but uh, <coughs> um, um, what is it they mentioned in the first Avengers? You and I remember very differently. Oh, Budapest. Budapest. Yeah, yeah. they said Budapest, Budapest is going to be in it. So yeah. all the things I didn't want to see. <laughs> Basically, yes. But I'm not. I'm not. I, I'm not <clears throat> un- unhappy. I still wish it wasn't a prequel. I kind of like that. The the primary villain is Taskmaster. Oh yes, yeah, I that, love that. Like that's, Taskmaster that's really cool. is finally entering the MCU. I swear to God, please don't kill him, and please don't have this set in like 1958 so that he's got going to be 90 years old. I'd like to see him come back. Yeah, Taskmaster is a fucking awesome character. His whole like his his mimetic ability is fucking cool. I I like that. I remember um, the comic where he and Deadpool faced off, and yes. he couldn't copy Deadpool because none of his things made any sense at all. Deadpool <laughs> kicks the shit out of him to show captured, kidnapped generals why they should be hiring him as a uh, mercenary, and Taskmaster's like basically, Deadpool. They're not. They know you're the best. They're not hiring here. They're 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 not not hiring you because not because you're not the best. They don't think you're the best. It's because you're fucking uncontrollable. And then he's like, "What is that real?" And the general's like, "Yeah, basically, because you're fucking crazy." He's like, "Oh, shit." <laughs> Very much a Deadpool reaction. Okay, it's great. But yeah, I like Taskmaster. That was every like. There's a, quite a few of these where. You know, you get the base, the basic, the movie. It's like, oh, that's cool. It's the little detail of what's also being included. Yeah. That is the holy shit. They're doing that. Yep. And that for Black Widow, that's the big thing for me is Tasky showing up. That, yeah, that I think that's really fucking cool because um, I know very little about Taskmaster. So le- yeah. sitting there learning a little more about him is cool. But knowing that he is the like, I he can perfectly replicate any fight movies. Is he is he canically a Saiyan? Because that's actually an ability Saiyans have, where they can sit there very quickly, yeah, like see a move get demonstrated and then instantly do it. I don't think I don't remember. I don't think it's a. It's even a. I mean, it's a superpower, obviously, right? But it's not like a. You know, oh, I got radiation or this. It's like he was just he was a born born with this ability. He's like a preternatural fighter. Like, yeah, um, yeah, okay. He's just an amazing fighter, and it, and it's within minutes if he's fighting with you. He starts copying your maneuvers. I guess the people there got to see a clip where he's fighting with Black Widow or Black Widow's sister, who's also, you know, a Russian trained spy, yada, yada. Yeah. And in the fight, he starts fighting in a different style. And then in the fight, you can see he starts fighting just like her. So I'm I'm I, I love it. I don't know. I that just, sounds yeah. That sounds that sounds cool. I guess he does something in the trailer that's very Captain America esque as well. Like he's got his <laughs> shield. Mm-hmm. So yeah, it's he's a, he's a fucking cool character. Falcon and the Winter Soldier. Yep. The I guess that's fall 2020. That kind of confirms a general area for Disney Plus. Right. It's because this is that was supposed well, as long as they Disney kept Plus that. is um that's November of this year. Oh, that's it is. La- that's oh, never mind. I thought I thought this was supposed to <clears throat> drop um, on it. Okay, so no, never no. mind. This this is supposed to drop on it, but Disney well, Disney Plus launches like this opening, November. But it's not. Um, this is a year later. Yeah. Um, it's just a mini series where they have, uh, you know, Sam Wilson and, you know, yeah, like they're they're going to be they're going to be there. Like the actual actors, yeah. Mackie and they Stan, are, are going to be. They're putting movie um, budgets in these shows that are going to be on Disney Plus that are directly tied into the MCU. And this takes place after um, Infinity War, after uh, Endgame. Well, yeah. I mean, you're still not wrong. Yeah, yeah. It's (laughs) it's Falcon and the Winter Soldier who are, like, apparently fucking teaming up to fight. um, uh, They've brought back... um, 
Oh, God. My brain does not want to Baron function. Baron Zemo. Yes, Zemo. Yeah. And they showed him, again, they got to see a little teeny thingy, mm. and they showed Zemo one little second clip where he's pulling down the purple mask. Yeah. So they're actually doing Baron Von Zemo. Yes, yes, they are. They're doing and, him justice now. Well, and, I mean, he was, I loved him in um, Civil War, but they're doing, they're going with uh, his traditional comic book look. I'm going to have to, like, to it. rewatch Civil War. I was thinking that the other day. Because, like, I'm sitting here and I'm reading this. It's like, who the fuck is Zemo? I don't remember <laughs> Zemo and Because I don't this. think, was he ever referred to as Zemo? Probably not. I don't Maybe, think like, so. Maybe, like, once when they're like, who is this guy? Oh, he's well, so, like, I'm going to have to go back. I'm going to have slug. to rewatch Civil War. <laughs> yeah. Just, I mean, it's an amazing movie anyway, so I'm going to go f- back. It's something that's nice to say, but I, I just... I'm sitting here and I'm reading this. I'm like, I don't remember this. Who's Zemo? Who the this? fuck is yeah. this guy? And then I'm going to watch it go, ah, there he is. See, I I watched, um, like, I think it was the bloopers, but it was this whole, like, Marvel clip thing. Yeah. And at one point, somebody was talking about, or no, it wasn't even a Marvel thing. It was um, the guy who's in, um, in uh, Winter Soldier, and then he becomes Skullbones, Skull, Crossbones. Yeah. Uh, that that actor who plays him like he was in the elevator scene with Cap. Um, he is uh, talking. To, he was doing an interview and he was talking about how much fun it was to, in Winter Soldier and like right, right. you know all the stuff they did in that movie and how awesome that was. And I'm like, oh my god, I really need to go back and rewatch that movie. And I kind of just want to watch from there on. Winter Soldier is one of the best stand like single uh uh hero so, movies yeah yeah solo movies solo uh marvel movies yeah. winter soldier was fucking amazing it was but good this has me again the just this concept of the the winter soldier and the falcon yeah that has me wanting to watch it too i guess they're gonna go back and forth of, no you should be cap no 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 you should really be taking this no he picked you really he should have been which that's kind of interesting too we'll you know I I I, I, know, like I, I, I mean Plus. at the end of of Endgame and he's he hands Sam the shield or yeah. Sam takes the shield rather from the case and he looks you can see Bucky like he nods like yeah, yeah, like, it's, fuck yeah. It, which I kind of I, I don't know I kind of wanted them to kind of go back and forth or yeah there's something. Um, Maybe or or Cap could have been like, here you go, whoever catches it, like, fling it at them. <laughs> like, you both get it. You're both good enough. Um, <clears throat> I wish Falcon in this in the MCU had some sort of superpower because right. I guess he does the Cap. I I didn't think he did, but apparently in the comics, the Cap, uh, the Falcon who becomes Captain America does have. Um, I guess super strength, something. He's he's got. Did he take the superhero? He's serum got. Too? Yeah, he's got had a super soldier serum yeah. or something happened to him, or maybe he just had enhanced reflexes, or like a bird. Who knows? But he had some abilities. Right. Whereas this is just a dude. Right. And I kind of I, I I like super soldiers. Don't get me wrong. I think I think Falcon was okay in the Marvel movies, but he's still a dude with wings and guns. <laughs> Is it about to die? No. Oh, who gives a shit? I don't care. <laughs> I'm just leaving everything that went wrong in. So. It's just that kind of day. Yeah. But yeah, I, I, I can't wait for that. I like, I like everything on this fucking list. It sounds amazing. Yeah, no, I, I'm completely fucking down. Yeah. Like, I want it. Uh, uh, next, we get the Eternals. The Eternals. In November in, uh, 2020. Yeah. Basically, right around the same time that the Falcon and Winter Soldier drop. Which I don't yeah. know anything about the Eternals. Um, I know very I like only what I like other people have said, like, oh, they were this. They apparently connected <clears throat> the Infinity Stones. They existed a long time ago. They're all super fuck off powerful beings. They're cosmic. I have no idea. A group of ancient immortal beings watching over the Earth. So where the fuck were well, they you doing? They do watch over the Earth. Yeah. Like, well, well, where the fuck were shit. they doing the crisis and shit? Where the fuck were they when Thanos did his snap and eliminated half the life in the fucking universe? Like, what? get the fuck out of here. I mean, maybe that's what this is going to talk I didn't think they, they had anything to do with Earth. I thought some of them were from Earth. But, okay, sure. Why not? Yeah, right. Um, Earth yeah. is always the most important thing. I guess, yeah. In the galaxy. <laughs> Angelina Jolie is is going to be. She's one of the characters. Yeah, uh, mm. she's not a bad actress. So I'm I'm down for whoever. I can't remember yeah. the other people. I think there was Selma Hayek other. is going to be in it. That's cool. Yeah, um, they. Um, I don't. Uh, I don't really recognize any of these other names, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. 
And I don't know any of the characters. Like, I recognize one of the actors. I just don't know what the fuck his name is. Uh, probably Kumal. Oh, Nanjing. Kumar. Um, Kumal from... Um, he's in that, that movie with uh, Batista that's coming out where he's a cop. He's a comedian. Right, yeah. I know, um, yeah. That I, I can't I recognize his, his name. face. Um, he's in um, fucking one of those shows like Community or whatever. Mm, I can't remember the name well, of it. Well, he's not in Community. He's not in Community, but he's in one of those fucking sitcoms. Um, one of those comedies, the, the offbeat comedies. That, uh, and the 2020 oh, film. Um, okay, he's, maybe this will explain things because the, the movie is about the group's clash against their longtime nemesis, the Deviants. It's a bunch of fucking like uh, furries, lollicons. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say like Shota uh, somebody in Vor. Like yeah. like... <laughs> it's just a bunch of like, it's just a bunch of fucking dudes. like somebody in like complete like bondage gear has to like unzip their mouth like <laughs> every time they get hit. <laughs> the de- oh god, you hit him and he just enjoys it more. <laughs> yeah, it's like that dude. The deviants. It's like that dude in Dead Rising 3, the boss you have to fight, where if you dance on the pole, he sits there and gets, like, all, like... <laughs> oh, my God, I never played man. the third Dead Rising. I've not played it either, but I've seen enough clips of this. I don't remember what his name is, but he's a cowboy dude. Oh, God. And he wears assless chaps, nice. and he uses a flamethrower, and and he he's a... he he. And like, I guess every boss in that game represents one of the seven deadly sins, and so oh, he's... Okay. Lust. Lust or whatever, and... um. Uh, if you sit like he's a really hard boss to beat, but he has a really stupid gimmick to easily defeat him. Yeah. Where there are like stripper poles in the in the room you fight him as, and if you sit there and dance next to one of them, he gets easily distracted, and then you can go up and beat the shit out of him, that's and then go back to the great. pole and dance again, and just keep doing that over and over again because that's what he's into. He's into fucking everything and anyone. There's so. a lot of things that annoyed me about those games, but yeah. their sense of humor and their creativity with like yeah. the bosses and stuff fucking top notch it, it's amazing every one of those games yeah. but i hate games on timers so those games annoyed the shit out of me yeah no i <clears throat> like like on the one hand it's like yeah i would like this world ending event to actually matter yes because uh, that's one thing that annoys me about games like skyrim where they have alduin coming back you need to stop this dragon but you, you need can to stop go the for 900 well, hours well, yeah yeah you can go in in like 17 in-game years can pass before you finally go and defeat Alduin before you, and fine. Before you even go to the top of the mountain. <laughs> yes. Like, I actually... I, like It's one of those games I've played way too much, yeah. right? And I've, I've always said that, and I hate the game, but I love the game. I literally had a playthrough where two in-game years passed between starting the game <laughs> and me actually going to the top of the mountain. Yeah. Um, because I just went around, did other dumb shit, and and killed things, and did other quests. Well, well, I need to level up my smithing, so I best I guess. Yeah, I no, I think this. I was like I was like level sixty five <laughs> when I went when I now. finally went up the mountain mm-hmm. to uh to and like I said, literally two in game years has passed because the game starts in like fifth era two oh one. It was fifth era two oh three, some like middle like three or third or fourth <laughs> month ends of the year. I'm like, yeah. all right, now I'll go. Now I'll go talk to these guys. Now I'll go Hi, talk to Hrothgar. Let's go learn how to be a dragonborn and shit. Like, and so I'm playing it again, <laughs> and I'm modding the fuck out of it, and I'm following a guide. Um, <clears throat> and so far, it's taken me about 10 hours uh-huh. of just straight modding. Jesus. Like, doing what I'm doing right now. Now, granted, some of that was because I didn't have the Nexus Premium, so I'm downloading it, like, one megabyte a yeah. second. And I said, and I finally, I finally, some of those big mods. Yeah, like two, three, four, ten gigabytes for some of them. Yeah. I finally broke last night and said, you know what? I'm really fucking strapped for cash, but I could spare a few bucks. I don't have to wait for this. And so I did. Uh-huh. And now I'm downloading really fucking quick. Nice. But yeah, I'm following this guide um, because I have no idea how to mod special edition, really. Mm-hmm. Like the way that. I would mod Legendary Edition because it's been so long since I've fucked with any of this. I'm following this guide. Mm. And, I, like, dude, I've installed, like, 160 mods so far. <laughs> <laughs> or some obscene number. And I'm, like, I'm thinking I'm probably around halfway through this guide right now. And I'm just like, that's oh, God, crazy. why? And that's that's with skipping mods, too. Yeah. I, 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 I don't. Like, Is it, are, like, the ultimate Skyrim experience mod? No, it's a, it's called guide. Nordic Skyrim, and I'm following it because I don't have really anything else to go off of. Yeah, 
because I guess there are other guys. So I'm like, fuck it. I'll just, I just chose this one. Like, yeah. I said, roll the dice. This got it. This one, whatever. Hmm. And so um, I'm just, I'm just following the instructions on it. And it's like, oh my god, there's so much to this. Jeez, <laughs> that's why I like, I just like games that are easy. Yeah. Download them with a mod manager or games where you just have to fake and make one file and copy over. Um, I mean, yeah, I'm definitely using a mod manager, but it's just the fact that there are so many to do, Mm. so many to put in there. And like, oh, God. (laughs) And the funny thing is, this was like two weeks ago, I think. I tweeted that I was going to sit there in 100% Skyrim. And as the day I started modding it. Uh And you haven't started playing it. I haven't even started playing it. The only thing I've done is run some tests. And I've discovered that apparently I'm not allowed to have smithing overhauls because that crashes my game instantly. (laughs) I still remember doing that with Skyrim and and more with Fallout 4 of I'd install like four or five mods and I'd be like, okay, run the game. Is it working? Crash? Nope. Okay, turn this one off. Turn it back on. Uh Uh, It doesn't crash. Or it does crash. Okay, so it's not that one. Turn this one off. Turn it back on. Yep. Does it crash? Yeah. Okay, yep, yep. (laughs) Oh, man. Because I had had like 150 mods with... um, um, Fallout 4 but I wasn't I didn't have like a list or anything it was just randomly ooh that's interesting I like that one so like when I would run the game I'd just be like I hope the load order's right because I don't fucking know what I'm doing let's <laughs> play <laughs> so yeah you know back to the top I mean, yeah as, um, we, as, we go on as we're wont to do Shang Li, Shang Chi, and the Legend of the Ten Rings yes um, I have no I what I had Who no idea. Chi? I've never heard of this character before. I had I, the Ten Rings. This is, is directly related to um, um, the Mandarin, and they're ten, they're super magical rings. There's lots of different people in the Marvel universe who have tried to get a hold of them in the past. Right. Um, Shang Chi is like essentially is like a I, the closest I can think of is like Iron Fist. He's like a born natural martial artist he's like the most powerful martial artist in the M- in marvel comics i think i think that's what i read mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. um but when i was looking up just a little bit of information about him he sounds really fucking cool um yeah apparently all right so here's the, the opening thing on the wikipedia shang chi which translates to literally rising of the spirit is a fictional superhero appearing on american comic books published by marvel comics the character was created by writer steve Englehart and artist jim starling first appearing in special marvel edition number 15 which was uh december 1973 in the bronze days of comic books often referred to as a master of kung fu shang chi is proficient numerous and in numerous unarmed and weaponry based wushu styles including the use of the goon the nunchaku and the jian in later years, he gains the power to create countless duplicates of himself and joins the Avengers. So this dude wasn't oh, Avenger for a while. Oh, he makes copies of himself. That's yeah. pretty cool. Uh, Chang Shi was spun off from novelist Sax Romer's licensed property as the unknown son of fictional villain Fu Manchu. In later editions, his connection to Fu was underplayed after Marvel lost the comic book rights to the latter's character. Chang Shi is set to make his live... Okay, yeah, we know that. Yeah. Um, that's interesting. Like, I've never... He's a master of Kung Fu. Shang Chi was born in the Honan province of the People's Republic of China, son of Fu Manchu, the Chinese mastermind who has repeatedly attempted world congress and had a thirst for blood. His mother was a white American woman genetically selected by his father. Shang Chi was raised and trained from infancy in the martial arts by his father and his tutors. Believing his father was a benevolent humanitarian, Shang Chi was sent on a mission to London to murder Dr. James Petrie who his father claimed was evil and a threat to peace. After successfully assassinating Petri, he encountered Fu Manchu's arch enemy, Sir Dennis Nayland Smith, who revealed to Shang Chi his father's true nature. After confronting his mother in New York, Shang Chi subsequently fought his adoptive brother Midnight, who was sent by his, their father to kill Shang Chi for his defection, and then encountered Smith's aide de camp and M6 agent, uh, MI6 agent Black Tar- Blackjack Tar, sent by Smith to apprehend Shang Chi. After several encounters and coming to trust one another, Shang Chi eventually became an ally of Sir Dennis Nayland Smith and then my. Oh, okay, six. we don't need the whole backstory. Yeah. Because it's this isn't even the whole backstory. This is just yeah. the part where it says Master of Kung Fu. So, I'm just. It's a fucking Marvel superhero based Kung Fu movie. If it, they it, do it's like Ip a. Ipmon in Marvel. Yeah, a, a Ipmon or a Crouching Tiger's Hidden Dragon style fucking Kung Fu Marvel movie? Yeah. Yes. Yes, that sounds awesome. um, Apparently, at one point, he was also a member of the Heroes for Hire. Which means he piled around with Luke Cage and Iron Fist. Yeah. He was also on The Protector. Um, 
which is interesting. The protectors. Yeah, the protectors and a couple other things that I'm not even I'm not really familiar with stuff like War of the Realms and Dominoes. I think that's a current huge thing that's going on. War of the Realms. I don't remember. I know I wanted to pick up some one of the comics that's happening right now. That's pretty fucking interesting. Yeah. So this is kind of kind of fun, kind of strange. Um, apparently, he was turned into a zombie during Marvel Zombies, and uh, as he's an ultimate Marvel, which he has a lot of the same backstory, just some of the. Stuff like Fu Manchu, the ties of that being stripped out. Mm-hmm. Um, his father was an international crime lord, blah, 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 trained from birth to become a living weapon, noble spirit, you know, all that good shit. Um, seems fucking cool. Apparently, he is a playable character in the Marvel, the mobile game Marvel Future Fight. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, he's, he's been playing by, played by Simo Liu. Yes. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Probably um, not, but... Eh, maybe he's an actor he's, he's done a lot of tv stuff um i don't know i just i fucking so down for a kung fu movie like this, this like we've amazing. talked about before like uh eat man and there's a lot of especially chinese kung fu movies when they don't get like to be like the wall which is terrible um chinese kung fu movies are yeah, no, fucking like, great i i love um <clears throat> pardon me i love like the once upon a time in china series like those three that yeah. trilogy with jet Li in the early 90s just fucking incredible one of the best like trilogies for for that kind of thing ever it mine with donnie yen uh, anything with donnie yen in it i'm no, fucking much down watched. for yeah like his his he has he has the other movies where it's like um uh special id and, and shit like that the even like the the one where it's like the Ice King or whatever the hell it was, I don't remember mm-hmm. what the movie it was called now because it was something titled weird, where he's like one a, of those fantasy type yeah that kung fu where movies, they find yeah. like this ancient uh, this ancient spirit king thing or something. I, I don't even remember the plot of the movie. It was just him kicking everybody's ass for two hours. And <laughs> that's I loved the important it. part, <laughs> you know. Like that's all that matters, and it was it was incredible. Like the story was good, like it wasn't terrible, but I don't remember it because, like I said. It was Donnie Yen kicking everybody's ass for two and a half hours mm-hmm. um, and getting his ass kicked a few times because, of course, he's going to. But that, yeah, no, that sounds cool. And um, Tony Lung, who I, I recognize the name, I'm going to have to look him up real quick to see where I recognize him from. Uh, oh, shit, 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 shit. Tony Lung is who? That's the guy playing Mandarin, the actual Mandarin, the actual Mandarin in yeah. this movie. Yeah, like I know I've seen him in other things. Like I recognize his name. Where have I seen him? Where have I seen him? Come on, come on, come on. Uh, maybe I haven't. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, like he's gonna be in. And he's gonna be playing. Like I said, the actual Mandarin, not that shitty. Well, idiot actor we met in Iron Man 3. Yeah, I like the actor. I don't like what they did with the role. Well, I don't like the Ben fact, Kingsley. Like he was, was playing awesome. it. Yeah, no, yeah. Ben Kingsley is fine. I'm not insulting him. Yeah, the yeah. fact that his Mandarin character was just an actor is what I'm referring the to. The best thing they did was when he, the the teeny little t te- I think it was a it was on one of the DVDs. Yeah. Um the spot where he's in prison and he's come like he's he's he essentially is running the prison with no problem. Yeah. And one of the other Marvel minor villains is like, what the, f-? Like, like amazed that he's talking to these prisoners and they're listening to him. And they, they hint towards the fact that the Mandarin exists or that this guy might actually be the Mandarin. But now they're, you know, they're, you find, we're finding out that there is a Mandarin, a real Mandarin that's yeah. going to show up yeah. in this movie. All right. So I know I recognize this man's name. <clears throat> Yeah. But I might be confusing him with another Tony Lung. Because I'm looking at the list of movies he's been in and I'm like, I don't fucking recognize any of these. <laughs> but like I know I've seen this dude's name in movies that I've watched before. Like I know he's he's popped up in, in things, but I'm like, I can't I don't know any of these movies, so I don't know. Flowers of Shanghai sounds sounds familiar, but I don't know. It's one of those things where I've, I've seen a lot of different movies. I don't I don't fucking remember. Yeah, I don't know. Um, next week. Oh, got... Hero. He was in Hero. Oh, that's, that's where a good I recognize movie. his name from. Yeah. Uh, and that's mm-hmm. it, unfortunately. Yeah. 
So, yeah, Kung Fu oh, Marvel no. movie. Sounds awesome. He played Ip Man in the Grand Master. That's, that's another place I've, I've recognized him. Uh, the next thing is another Disney Plus, WandaVision. 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 The, the, the names are terrible. That is the worst name ever. Like, I get what they're trying to like go as because it's Wanda and the Vision and, and blah, blah, blah. Um, well, at the Disney Plus, they're just using the name of the characters to yeah. sell it. It's just like the Falcon and the Win- and the Winter Soldier. But that one's actually... WandaVision. But the Falcon and the Winter Soldier sounds like it could be like an actual show, right? That sounds like I a guess. sitcom. WandaVision sounds like knockoff <laughs> VR. It does. Like it really like it really does. It sounds like knockoff VR. This like, I think is the thing that I'm the least like I'm just kind of meh about. Apparently yeah. it's gonna be they're doing alternate realities with quite a with quite a few different movies. That seems to be the uh phase four thing. Um that the whole I'm from a different reality in Spider Man, um, even though he was lying is not completely wrong. Right. Like, there's a lot of the Disney Plus stuff, like Doctor Strange is doing with multiverse. It's in the fucking title. WandaVision's going to deal with some multiverse. So, we're going to see different versions of Wanda and the Vision. Like, a, a, supposedly, there's going to be one where they're like 1940s uh, husband and housewife, like uh, happy, like like Smallville type thing. Like, that's kind of weird. Yeah. It's, uh, but I don't know. It's, it's it, it, I'll, I'll watch it. I'm like, hey, cool. But it's not. It's one that doesn't grab me. I'm interested to see what if if it is going to be directly tied to um, the MCU, like, and this is how the Vision comes back, right? Or if this is going to just be a side thing where it's you know alternate realities she travels through or something like that. Who knows? I don't know. I, that, one's, weird. that one's simple. I mean, considering that the Vision is literally an Infinity Stone. Who can just? Yeah, he was. How much? And we've talked about that before. They yeah. were going through the process of separating him from the stone. How much of the vision is the stone, and how much is the cybernetic organism yeah. body thing? Um. So, I mean, it's kind of neat though. The show will find Wanda Maximoff and Vision team up with Monica Rambeau. The character made her debut as a child in Captain Marvel, but in Wanda Vision she'll be oh, older right. and played by Tiana Paris. Um, the little girl. Yeah, the little girl who uh, apparently at some point in the comics becomes Captain Marvel herself. Yeah, kind of interesting, kind of cool. Maybe we'll see something like that hinted towards in the show. Yeah, it could be, especially the alternate realities and stuff. <clears throat> oh, they might yeah. just flat out do it. Yeah. Um, um, and then, of course, after that, we don't have much to say on that because there's just fucking nothing here. There's nothing. And it's, uh, again, it's something where I'm like, even if there was stuff, unless they're randomly like, and here, the Red Skull's the villain. Like, I'm not going to. Yeah. I'm not going to have any like, ooh. <laughs> or like Ultron comes back. It's, it's just fucking okay. Galactica it's, shows it's, up. It's, like, it's, fuck it. The, it's fucking one division. I'm more interested in the next thing, Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness. Because first, that's Marvel going, we can title this shit whatever the fuck we want and you'll still see it. Because that's yes. the craziest goddamn title. Yes. Until Thor's title comes later on. Right. But this movie sounds awesome because it's going to be a fucking, it's supposed to be a horror movie. Yeah, it's going to be the first uh, scary MCU film. Yeah, like a um, Marvel horror movie. Wanda's going to be in it. And she specifically said, or someone said on stage, that this is going to be the movie that puts uh, the witch in Scarlet Witch. So I wonder if she's going to maybe go insane after WandaVision. I don't know, Or maybe. something where she's fucking losing her head. Uh, but, yeah, Doctor Strange, um, fucking the Scarlet Witch, Multiverse of Madness, fucking horror-esque movie, horror movie. That's their words, scary. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I wanted Doctor Strange, period, because Doctor Strange is so fucking crazy and there's so much you can do with him. Oh, yeah. I mean, absolutely. He is the supreme. He's the Sorcerer Supreme, right? Sorcer- like, his whole deal is protecting th- our reality from a multitude of realities that even just imagine <laughs> them would cause you to go insane. Right. So, yeah. Fuck yeah. Give me more Doctor Strange. Give me more. Yeah. Give me definitely... Like I like that they're 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 playing it in that in that way. Uh, Cumberbatch has said that although Strange was largely an authoritarian authoritative authoritative confident figure in Infinity War in a game, multiverse of madness will disarm the character and present him with some unexpected challenges. It's like yeah. whoa. He's gonna fuck with Doc Strange, you know, break him maybe? Like that'll be He's one of those characters that even in his movie, <laughs> even at his like lowest and, you know, he overcomes his his challenges. He's still the cockiest of bastards. Oh, yeah. And they did it to Iron Man in after in Iron Man 3 specifically. Yeah. Or maybe it was two. Whichever one where he fucking runs around half the time, not as Iron Man. 
and the little kid helps him, and they, they, think, they beat him down, basically. I think that, that was three. I it have was no three. fucking idea. It was three. Two was the one with the lightning whip man. It was really fucking dumb. Yes. Iron Man yes, 3. Yes, it was. You're right. Um, oh, my God. Not not great movies, but yeah. Iron Man 3 was okay. I mean, it was better than two. It was better than two. But um, he they like they beat him down. He, they show he's got like fucking PTSD after seeing like the edge of the universe going through a fucking portal into space yeah. and flying a nuke up there. Um, Among other things, it, um, they're going to do something. It sounds like they're doing something similar to Doctor Strange, but it's I, a whole movie. I I um I don't remember where I read it, but I read recently that apparently Wanda gives Tony the vision of all of his friends dying. At, at the hands of Thanos? Uh, she did in... Um, yeah, okay. In I, Civil... Or in um, Avengers uh, Age of Ultron. I just don't remember it. Like, I guess I'm going to have to watch that movie again, too. She... Uh, like, she tries to do, like, a mind <clears throat> control to Hawkeye, and he fucking smacks her in the face with a bow. But before <laughs> that, she does, so little, she does her little she does her little wiggly, wiggly, wiggly yeah. at, at Tony, and he had, I think that's when he had the vision. Yeah. When he sees, like, Cap lying there, the shield broken, which yeah. ends up happening, um, and everyone just lying there seemingly dead. Uh, I, I can't remember the way the vision ends, but he sees that stuff. Yeah. And then... Um, and then Thor has his vision uh, that his they never show. He where he goes and takes a bath for a while, and <laughs> that was weird. That whole thing was weird. It was it was all to fucking foreshadow the next fucking Marvel movies. Yeah, Thanos and everybody coming. But yeah, <clears throat> like she gives him that vision. So I wonder how that ties into this. I don't know, but I can tell you that uh, apparently WandaVision might be moderately important to this movie because the events of be. WandaVision tie directly into this film. Yeah, it happens right before. So you're going to have to, I guess you're going to have to watch WandaVision. <laughs> you're going to have to get Disney Plus to get the whole story. Uh-huh. And that's, 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 hey, that I'm not surprised I that's mean, where they're going with it. It's something I planned on getting anyway because there's a lot of old it's Disney not shows and cartoons and... I wanted to watch. So it's like, yeah, I'm probably gonna do it for these series this is the sort of thing where like like i still have netflix but netflix i'm i don't know how much longer i'm gonna pay for netflix because i they're the stand-up they're getting now is not nearly as good as it was i I, i'm also Um, not like i'm I'm in the camp where there's a lot of people who are like netflix's original series are amazing i'm like i liked house of cards yeah, I but don't. I, I just haven't watched many of them, and I don't even. It's kind of like I hear these. This one's great or that, and I'm like, even like Stranger Things. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't mm-hmm. take the time to watch it. I all if I sit down to watch something like that, yeah, like not very long through it, I, my brain goes. I kind of wish I was playing a video game right now, or I kind of <laughs> wish I was doing this. You need more engagement, or I want to go to sleep, or whatever. Yeah, unless I'm like at a movie theater or something yeah. eight times out of ten if I'm watching a movie I'm also doing something else while I'm doing it like um, like, uh, like uh, yesterday for example was it yesterday or day before one of these off days that I had I don't fucking remember I, I went and like, I want to watch Blade because somebody um, posted a a link in a private chat somewhere mm-hmm. that I'm a part of um, where it was that that scene in Blade the original Blade, where he's fighting uh, Deacon Frost at the end, mm-hmm. and Deacon Frost has already turned into La Magra and all that, and he, he sits there and he, he throws all the coagulants into him, you know, the, the little things that the chick made up, which makes <laughs> vampire heads explode. It's like, yeah. there's motherfuckers always trying to up, ice skate uphill. Yes. <laughs> like that post- line, so good. <laughs> That's an amazing line delivered by, by Wesley Snipes. And then he kicks the last, the last one. Into I was just going to say the last one he throws in the air and fucking roundhouse kicks, kicks it into right into his, his forehead. Um, <laughs> somebody posted that that video and I'm like, well, now I got to watch Blade. Yeah. So I went and I went and found Blade and I sat there and watched it while I was watching Blade. I don't remember what I was doing. I was probably still modding Skyrim, but I'm sitting there watching Blade modding Skyrim and playing fucking Zelda Breath yeah. of the Wild on my Switch. Like, because... I multitask that way. Yeah, I was. I, I mentioned I watched. Um, and you know, by the way, that movie uh, twenty one years later. Still oh, holds still up holds really up. Well. Blade is a fucking like great like movie. Um, the effects leave a little bit to be desired. <laughs> yeah, but the, the CGI at the end is very the uh, CGI all over, yeah. but especially at the end, like when he cuts him in half and the blood. <laughs> <laughs> and so like bad. 
fucking seals him back together. It's like, that's a little bit weird. Yeah. That looks more like a fake CGI pudding than it does blood, but I'll, I'll allow it. You know what? It was the nineties. It was the nineties and we, they did what they could. Yeah. Um, It was was great with what they had. Yeah. I watched Captain Marvel and I I had the same problem where I was kind of checking in and out of the movie. Yeah. I'd notice I'd start like either playing, uh, well, I wasn't playing anything on my switch, but there were quite a few times where I was like, um, I was like, yeah, this better get interesting quick. <laughs> I don't really care. Uh, it's, I don't know. It's just, I don't have a lot of time to like watch things. And if, it has to be something that I'm already invested in to right. binge anymore. Right. Like Game of Thrones, I was already invested in. So I was right. binging. It's easy to binge. Yeah. At. So like, like when I rewatch Archer every every year or so stuff like that i'm already invested in the show so it's easy for me to just sit down and watch 15 episodes in a row and get through a season and a half or two in a day because like it's already something i've watched it's already something i took the time to see so it's already i already know it's going to be a a funny and amazing or the same thing with like older shows like star trek and stuff i can sit down and watch an entire season of star trek in a day because i'm already invested in it but i'm also still going to be doing other things yeah so yeah, so that's why I don't I don't know how much longer I'm gonna have Netflix. Yeah, um, I I can't. If I they can't start getting better stand up, I'd keep it because that's what Netflix has been to me. But now Yahoo, uh, or not Yahoo, fuck Yahoo, Yahoo, um, uh, Amazon Prime, yeah. they're now putting the money to get people specials. So I don't know. Um, I mean, either way, I'm definitely Disney Plus is a, uh, is pretty much a must. Like I, I like these shows that they, they, they're putting on that they're going to put a real budget to them. And like you said, the entire Disney and Marvel catalog and now Fox catalog. Yeah. Um, yeah. They, how? The, what, yes. Obviously, yes. Like I would. How I, many shows have Fox have had over the years that have just been incredible? Yeah. Stuff like Fringe, if you're in the sci-fi, weird, creepy sci-fi shit. Mm-hmm. Fringe is perfect for that. Fringe was such a great show when it was on. I fucking love Fringe. I loved the the s like the amount of money Netflix paid for uh, Friends, like the what was it billion two oh, billion dude, dollars, I some crazy know. amount Way that they paid money. for Fringe and every for Friends and everyone was like oh my god because they need that that kind of show like yeah. like Netflix is a it, people use it to watch like um, The Office like there's people that legitimately and not incorrectly call netflix the office streaming service that if they lose the office that they go away because no one will use netflix anymore um can you imagine and we've mentioned this before the value of the simpsons alone yeah people will just turn that on and just oh the simpsons that's what i that's what we're that's what's playing in the background all day Plus, there's like 30 goddamn seasons. Exactly. It never ends. It just, it just keeps you going. You can go on forever. I'm sure the same way with Hulu with things like South Park. Yeah. Uh, it's just the value of that property alone is insane. And You know, I, another thing that Fox has that I know I absolutely adore, they mm-hmm. have House. Oh, there's House. Yeah, that's a fucking amazing show. They have show. House. I have to like, go back and watch that. House is such an amazing goddamn show. There's, there's uh, too much to count that they have, will have access to now and it's frightening um a little frightening anyway i don't like that everyone wants to have a streaming service and this is something we got to talk about later with video games too mm-hmm. i do you don't need a streaming service ubisoft you have like four games and three of them are tom clancy and one of them is assassin's creed stop it you do not need a streaming service ubisoft fuck off no just stop it's, all of it's, these different companies do not need streaming services at the same time i think google stadia is full of shit so it's i don't think I, it's um, going to be successful anyway i don't know like i you could maybe at one time have described me as a google fanboy yeah because like i loved google or something like, i i never thought they could do anything wrong and uh, my entire outlook has changed on yeah, that. it turns out they do a lot of fucking shit wrong um i still trust them with certain things they still provide me with things that I use constantly. Yeah. Like the Google Assistant, my Google Home and stuff like that. A lot of things I have moved away from, I don't use their emails for their email address for important shit anymore. All junk junk and less important shit goes to my Gmail address now. Mm-hmm. I don't use Google Drive anymore. I only use Google Docs for uh, for my Pathfinder and 5th edition uh, sheets. Yeah. Um, 
I want to use YouTube because we're forced to use YouTube. And there's no other alternative. There's no alternative to YouTube. Um, so it's like I have cut a lot of my cert- Google services down. Um, like, hell, if I didn't have to have I, – and I guess I technically don't, but if I didn't have to have a Google operating system on my phone, I probably wouldn't. I don't know what I'd have on there um, because there aren't too many alternatives for the Pixel 2, but I wouldn't have it on there if I didn't You wouldn't have, have Android? I wouldn't have Android. I would probably have Android, not Google Android. Oh, okay. There's I didn't know there was a difference. There's a difference. <laughs> I was going to say, like, there's what is the option other than Apple or Google? Um, what you have is not Google Android. Oh, okay. What I have on here is Google Android yeah. because it's a Google phone. Um, and, of course, I bought this before my trust in Google kind of went away yeah um and it does have one of the best fucking cameras on the market i can't deny that but yeah if i if i didn't have to um because i've become a little more privacy conscious in my age and the amount of data these companies gather on you is staggering that's why i deleted my facebook account that's why the last three or four months my some of my free time has been devoted to replacing windows with linux and it's way more than possible now with steam and proton which is amazing and uh i'm just i'm getting away from it like i'm like "Eh, i don't don't want this anymore yeah Yeah, that's understandable all right so So, loki movies Loki's tv shows it's a little yeah it's it's a a tv show um which i actually am interested in this like like legit interested in this less about the whole um like, you know how you don't want the Black Widow thing and some things to be revealed. This I really do want to be revealed um, because there's the question of at the end of Endgame, where did Loki go when he, he took the test rifle? Well, well, that's where this starts <clears throat> off. That's where this starts so, off, yeah. Like, yeah. This, is, this is where it explains, and I'm like, yes. This is Loki before he has all of the character development, before all the stuff <clears throat> happens in Thor 2 and the stuff that happens in Ragnarok. So this is douchebag Loki. Uh-huh. He's pissed off. He just got his ass whooped by the Hulk. He grabs the Tesseract and dips. And it's apparently going to be Loki traveling through, again, universes, time, like, jumping around. Loki fucking... I love the idea of Loki fucks with time or something like that. Yeah. As being what this is. Or like, like he's that's avoiding amazing. Thanos or something. Like, he is the asshole that you meet in the first Avengers movie. Yeah. Like, because that's what he is. Because at the end of Endgame, that's what happens, right? Yeah. Like, he, they lose the Tesseract. Loki takes it fucking uses it to warp away i want this i'm hoping this is like the loki like the almost um like traditional or or or, uh uh uh, loki just being a trickster god yeah just being a douchebag and traveling around and doing douchebag things because he obviously knows that working with thanos is a stupid fucking decision i mean i'm wondering i think by now he would yeah yeah if I, I'm wondering if this is going to be him shifting his his plotting from taking over Asgard, and maybe now he's just going to be like, I'm. I think I'm just going to be a general douchebag <laughs> to lots of different beings because that's what she's I'm just good at. Fuck with everybody. Yeah. So I'm like, I'm like, yeah, I'm not fucking down for this. Let's see where this goes. And that's and it's Tom Hiddleston in a fucking uh, procedure like a a, a, a mini series. Yeah. Uh, on a streaming service. Give on it a streaming me. service, yeah. All right. Um, let's wind this down because yeah, we are two more. running long. One um, more big one. One more big one. What um, if animated? What if. what if series? The What If Marvel comics are, fu- are are pretty fucking cool. Yep. Um, they're turning it into an animated, but it's, this is specifically What If MCU. So it's going to be the the MCU stuff. I can't remember which one they mentioned. Spe- like, um, what if? Peggy Carter picked up Steve Shield to become Captain America. Yeah, that's one of the and of course it's going to have like you know the stars from the shows come back as voice actors mm-hmm. like Michael B. Jordan, Josh Brolin, Mark Ruffalo, Sam Sammy, of course. I really hope they yeah, do. Chadwick Boseman, Karen Gillian, Paul Rudd, Michael Douglas, Haley Atwell, Neil McDuff. I don't know how to pronounce his name. I'm not even going to try. Dominic yeah. Cooper, Sean Gunn, Natalie. Basically, all the characters come back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah they're all coming back to do voices for the fucking animated now one thing i do like awesome. here um jeffrey wright was the black scientist dude from westworld uh, he is coming back he's he's popping up to lend his voice as the watcher um oh yeah this is a whole the watcher looking at different 
timelines. Yeah, different alternate universes, <laughs> which I like uh, Jeffrey Wright. He's a great actor, and his voice is cool, too. Um, so yeah. I, I kind of like that idea. And then... Um, Disney Plus is going to fucking kill it, man. Oh, yeah. Hawkeye. Hawkeye's getting his own uh, series. Which is Hawkeye and his daughter is basically training his daughter to be... Uh, the next Hawkeye mm. to be a superhero in Sharp a world. Protege. Yeah, a, a she. How to be a superhero in a world with superpowered superheroes? Yeah. How the how a normal person can be that live up to that, which is interesting to me. Also, it's supposed to dive into um, some of the stuff he did as Ronan, so we'll probably see him have to deal with um, like consequences from hey, you went around slaughtering mob bosses. Uh, and mobsters, then maybe they're going to fucking come after you for revenge. Um, well, the, it's kind of interesting, though. Like, like, I can't remember the comic line that this is that this is um, going um, off of. Basically, Hawkeye. Yes, but it, there's a specific title that to That is it. the name, according to this. Um, um, you know, it's I'll, a specific Hawkeye run, but it is... I know I've read some... No, it's called Hawkeye. Like that's literally it's not, what it's called. But, like I'm, I'm looking it up right now. Okay. They well, whatever it. run there, it's off of Hawkeye Run. Um, it's. I know I've read some of some of it, like single issues and stuff, and it is like Hawkeye dealing with like fucking mobsters and stuff, and it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. No. Um. Apparently, the name of it's it's just Hawkeye. Like that's that's what it's named. I have no idea, but that's uh, not was, the name that I heard earlier. It was um, after three years, twenty-two issues. Yeah, the ending of it's it's called Hawkeye, and this this article was 2015 that they linked to because apparently Hawkeye is based on Hawkeye. That's that's what it's well, based on a comic run in 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 that in that year. That article that's written about this this new yeah. TV show. Yeah. So that's definitely way too old. No, no. There's the article written the article, recently. This article that we're reading about, the yeah. Phase 4, links to that article. Which, oh, okay. Which uh, they say it... Uh, uh, so basically, it's Jeremy Renner's once again picking up Paul Guy's quiver for a new Disney Plus series. Show will follow Clint Barton as he trains young Kate Bishop as a and protege based on the artwork, Marvel, blah, blah, blah. It may be inspired by Mac Fractions and David Ash's acclaimed solo comic show of the same name. Mm-hmm. So, Yeah. Apparently, the the comic run is based on is just called Hawkeye, rather than having a specific name or whatever. Well, whatever though, yeah, that's what they just called it. They just named it Hawkeye. Yeah, um, but the next the next thing mm-hmm. this this is this is kind of cool. Uh, Thor: Love and Thunder is the name of the next Thor movie we're going to be getting, um, which is like Taika Waititi is coming back to direct which is like yes i want this um oh this is kind of cool chris hemsworth as thor of course tessa thompson's coming back as valkyrie and apparently valkyrie this movie will confirm valkyrie status as the first openly lgbtq superhero in the mcu yep she's looking for a queen for asgard um Jordan the cast is Natalie Portman, who is returning as uh, Jane Foster. This time, however, she'll be wielding Thor's hammer Molina herself. That is really fucking cool. Um, I'm kind of interested to see that. Are you just entrenched? I'm not. I'm honest to God. I'm I'm fine with female Thor, and I think that's interesting and cool because I really like the idea of I don't know if they call him just. Um, Odin, Thor Odinson right. or just Odinson or Fallen Thor or whatever like in the comics when she picks up the hammer yeah. Thor goes off with uh, his axe and it's goes in is he still fat Thor? no God, he was never fat Thor in the comics and I don't <laughs> Shut think up, Luke. I do not think he'll be fat Thor in the movie either I, know, no, I, know. I, I swear I want a montage of him with a fucking like ab cruncher or something <laughs> but I, ab roller and shit from the when 80s. he does that he goes off and just like goes and almost like an anti-hero goes off to do fucking just beat the shit out of some people <laughs> and goes off all angry and shit so I don't know. I'm I'm cool with that. However, Natalie Portman. Why not? Every reason. Natalie I Portman know. is a teeny tiny little like not 
no. I know. I also she's kind of a cunt as far as I can tell. She didn't want to do the Thor movies. Right. She didn't want to be in Thor two and kind of to me kind of has half assed it. I really didn't like her character. Like, I mean. We're talking about Dark World, right? Dark World. Yeah, Dark World was terrible overall. Yes, <laughs> and it, she definitely didn't help it. I didn't – I just don't see her in that role. Um, when I've looked at, and and read some of the comics with female four and even um, whatever the War of the Worlds or whatever event has recently been happening in Marvel. Right, right, right. Um, the the uh, uh, That character – I can't uh, think of her fucking name now. Um, she is someone who's battling cancer. She's terminally ill. She knows she's going to die. She ends up, I don't know exactly how she ha- gets the hammer, but she's worthy, becomes female Thor, becomes Thor. Right. And goes off and is a fucking badass and fights and saves the world, does all the Thor things. Right, right. She ends up giving up or losing the hammer. And still in this event, she's fucking picking up a sword, terminally ill with cancel cancer and fighting demons and shit and is like going after the big bad and um, Valkyrie comes and is like, hey, no, 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 you need to come with me. And she's like, no, there's still people here to save. And she's like, you're dying of cancer. Just please don't go get yourself killed any faster. Like, like she's legitimate. Like, and I just don't see Natalie Portman in that role. I mean, I don't I don't dislike her as a person, but she's never she doesn't strike me as that kind of actress. Right. Right. So I don't know. I'm kind of on the fence. I mean, I, I wanted Valkyrie to become Thor. That's she's kinda, so fucking badass. That's kind of what I thought they were going to do. Exactly. Like, like that's where I thought they were leaning, especially at the end of a end game when. You know, they're standing there on the cliff or whatever, talking to each other, and she's like, well, they need a king, like, and he looks and says, they already have one, and then he yeah. gets into, like, like, I thought that's the angle that they were going to play, right? That she was going to get the hammer in the next movie, I'm like, fuck yeah, Valkyrie's, she's going to be a, even more of a badass, it's like, mm-hmm. no, apparently not, they're just going to make, they're just going to bring Jane Foster back. Jane um, Foster, that's the name. Right um, which I get, because I guess there is a comic book series where Jane transformed into Thor. Like, well, which, that's it. Yeah, Jane, yeah. It's Jane Foster who has, is dying of cancer and becomes Thor. And right. that was very recent in Marvel Comics. She was Thor for quite a while. And when Marvel kind of did its um, forced inclusion stuff, that's the one character that worked. Most of the other characters didn't. Um, She did. Yeah. And she was awesome. Right. And... She's the only like she like lasted. Most of the other books just ended and were kind of swept under the rug. Right. Um, her and Falcon as Captain America were the ones that like the big changes to those characters were ones that made it. Right. And I don't know. I just I, it's just Natalie Portman. I'm like now this, this now next thing the in, next thing we're going to talk about. I here. do want to mention the amount of money that Mar- Marvel would have had to back up in front of Natalie Portman's house to get her to come back. Cause like we said, she was fucking donezo. She had, they had to like, they used old footage of her in, um, in, uh, end game. She did not come back for any of those scenes. They used old fucking footage. Yeah. And I think all they were able to do was to get her to voice a couple of lines. She was, they, this is very recent that she was donezo. Yeah. And now they've apparently backed up a fucking couple garbage trucks yeah, full I was gonna of say, money. Like, they just dump like a billion <laughs> dollars on their doorstep. That shit. <laughs> All right, so I want to move on from this because I don't fucking care. Um, Although I, I care because it's Thor and Taika Waititi. It's Thor and, and Love and Thunder. It's Valkyrie yeah. and it's, it's more cool shit. I, I want... I, I'm kind of with you I want, where it's like, I don't care about Natalie Portman. Really. I want Gal- Guardians of the Galaxy to I be do. a part of this. I do too. I want them. Um, but this this got okay. me excited because, like I said, I just yeah. recently watched the movie. It is Blade. Yes. The, like Ma- the last thing they apparently announced. Mahershala Ali is going, is going to be playing a new version of Blade. Mm-hmm. Oh, my fucking God. Yes, I want this. Like, he was such a badass as Cottonmouth in yes. the Luke Cage series. Like, I want him to be a badass vampire slaying motherfucker. Him, he's already got the look, like, wearing yes. sunglasses. Yes. That, to me, is the most important part of Blade. No, you're absolutely right. If you right. can wear those sunglasses. You gotta have the right, you gotta have the right hairstyle, you gotta have the sunglasses. And it's, look it's like be, such a fucking beast. And got, Masha Ali can do it. He can smirk. Absolutely you can. can imagine him having a fucking fang. Yes. And it's like, yeah, that's Blade. No, I want it. it. 100%. I, 
He's got to get a little more buff, I think. But absolutely. yeah, I, I could. That's. But yeah, I see that. Like, I want them to force Natalie Portman to do that. <laughs> I want to see fucking ripped Natalie Portman. That interests me. But yeah, Marsha Ali. You want to see her walk up with like Batista's arms? I want to like, fucking Whoa. see video of her and Chris uh, Chris Hemsworth, Hemsworth in the gym, and he's just like push it. She's just ah! like, <laughs> <laughs> working out, and yes. just her come up and just be fucking shredded, and then I would be like. That is FEMA Thor. That I'm is the okay new with Thor. This. Um, but yeah, no, I I definitely want this. Blade was one of my like. I say what you want about the movies; they're all entertaining to me. Yeah, the, even even the cringe factor of the like second and third ones. Yeah. they're still good movie. They're they're okay. I mean, well, like the third one featured Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool before Deadpool was Deadpool. Yeah. So I mean, before he was Deadpool, rather. So it's like there's I'm a, okay there's with good, that. There's a lot of good things in both of those movies. Um. So I, I definitely want more. The first one's just great. The first one is like a fucking classic. They had to CGI his eyes. Oh God. Uh, Wesley Snipes, such a fucking difficult bastard, but he's, <laughs> he was a great actor. No, he he back was, then. Oh my God. Yeah. I don't know what happened to that guy. He such fell off badass. the fucking map. But uh, he he Snipes, legitimately assholed his way out of Hollywood. Yeah. He was a douchebag, and then also I think he uh, got in big, huge trouble for um, tax evasion at one oh, point. Oh well, yeah, that's a huge deal. But he became he kind of I think he he didn't like have a full redemption tour, but when he was in the um, uh, Expendables, the he third Expendable, the, the third one, the terrible, more terrible one, they were all bad. They were all, awful. but yeah. Uh, yeah, he was in the third Expendables movie, and he was he was good in it. And he kind of the a lot of talk. Blade has been rumored and kind of been back and forth recently for a little while. And right, people right. were like, "Yeah, Wesley Snipes, come back, man. We want to see you again." So he kind of has had a mini revival esque. Right, right. He's not been in any movies, but that I've seen anyway. But um, I, I he's still he's still awesome in my book. I guess he was maybe he's kind of got that chip off his shoulder. <laughs> he's not know, as maybe. much of an asshole. I mean, maybe maybe old age has calmed him down a bit. Exactly. Who knows? Um, it's just like, it's just like when you hear about Bruce Willis being a dick to work with. Like, yeah. You're like, oh, come on, man. And now it's less that he's a dick and more that he just shows up. Yeah. And doesn't really. You know, he shows he's just, up. He's he Bruce shows up Willis. and plays Bruce Willis. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's disappointing. Um, but I I really really want this like. Uh, basically what happened was according to Feige Alan call, Ali called Marvel after he won his second Oscar for the movie Green Book and told them he'd be interested in tackling the iconic vampire and studio was like fuck yeah we're gonna do this and so I'm like it doesn't have a release date it doesn't have a director but it doesn't matter because this is all we need I, I, I'm happy with, with this I, I love this man he is an amazing actor um, so yeah I'm down for that Captain Marvel 2 yeah. Okay. So, oh yeah, that. So the end of the show, um, the the ones we mentioned before, Blade. That was that's all the phase four they announced. Yeah. End of the show, Kevin Feige is like, yeah, we don't really. I, I guess he's like the last thing. He's like, uh, oh, one more thing, and Blade. You know, Marshall Ali comes out, and doesn't even get to say anything because no more time left. Yeah. He just smiles and puts on a hat. I think yeah. the Blade hat. Um, they gave everyone in the audience Black Widow hats. Just, you know, Marvel flexing that fucking bank. I want the blade hat. Fuck Marvel. I, want both. Yeah. I don't know if he had a blade hat. He might have had a Black Widow hat too. But <laughs> the next thing Kevin Feige is like, and I don't even have time to talk to you about Guardians 3, Captain Marvel 2, the Fantastic Four, and the Mutants, which is like, you motherfucker, you just gonna fucking drop that and yes. fucking walk? So yeah, Mar- confirmed in probably 2022. We're going to get a second Captain Marvel movie. And we're, we're getting get, um, Fantastic Four. We're getting The Guardians 3. And, and we're Black Panther Black, 2. Black Panther 2. Yeah, that yes. was the other one. Yeah. And uh, something with the mutants. So an X-Men sort of thing. Maybe. And yeah. I cannot fucking wait. I'm glad that they're getting Ryan Coogler back to, to write and direct Black Panther. Cause he, oh, yeah. He, he did, did such great. a fantastic job with the first one. Yeah. Um, I want... I, it's a sequel, so they can go anywhere with it. Yeah. I the one thing I do have a problem with that is that it was way too formulaic Marvel formula of fight villain who is the same as superhero but bad. Yeah. Um, I, he I'd was like a great the... villain motivation wise. Oh, absolutely. He unfortunately was fucking stupid in the fact that he had the same exact powers. It was my biggest problem with the fucking. Well, um, he didn't at first. Well, but yeah, very quickly. Yeah. Did. Um. 
but of course, Guardians of the Galaxy three volume. Three. Oh my god, yes! Give me, give me Guardians still, three. I'm the a, fact that they're getting James Gunn back. Yeah. Um, like I want this so I wanted much. Wanted to tie in with Thor so bad, but I, I bet I, they need I'm to, betting they, need they, they to be won't together. Like they gotta at least Taika Waititi. I'm. I hope that he is legitimately like fighting Marvel. Like no. Seriously, you have to let me play with these characters for at least a little bit of this movie. Like, even if it's just a scene where they're dropping Thor off on some random fucking planet after he's hung out with them and it's fucking Star-Lord kicking, literally kicking him out of the side of the ship. Yes. <laughs> like, something. Give me something, at least. Because I want I want to see that. I mean, they're great. All right, so Gunn is going to be... Do production on the film after Suicide Squad sequel. Yeah, there's nothing new on this um, stuff from Comic Con. It literally all we got was confirming that he, Kevin Feige said, even though we knew it was in production because right. they already confirmed James Gunn was writing and directing it um, after um, Suicide Squad. Right. So I mean, hopefully the timelines fall down together. They can at least start within certain amount of time of each other and like you said have that crossover yeah, I, I, I'm really uh, I'm really hoping they do who knows though uh, I mm-hmm. guess Suicide Squad's in production Suicide Squad 2 um, but yeah that's looking at like 2022 2023 yeah. for some of these movies All right, Fantastic so, um, Four I'm, it's so long away but I really hope their origin has to do with the snap or has to do with the Infinity Stones right, right. because I think that's goddamn perfect yeah, I think it's better than the original gamma ray burst. That Just a of, fucking random event. Yeah. yeah. Rather than that, like the the energy given off by the use of the infinity stones is what something like yeah, is what trans- the universe. For some reason, it affected these four individuals. Yeah, they were versus, in space doing experiments, yeah, and shit that happened. energy flew out, hit them. Like, oh god. Five. Yeah, and uh, I five. Died. Doctor Doom is with him as well. Oh, oh well, right. that that origin. I don't know the traditional origin if he was there. I just remember the movie origin. Right. Um, but I I can't for the life of me remember Doctor Doom's origin from <laughs> yeah, the show or yeah, comics I, I or anything know. like that. Either way, Doctor Doom entering the MCU will be fucking amazing. If if which I'm assuming they will. You don't do the the Fantastic Four and not have right. Doom. Yeah, you, you don't. And I it would be like it would be like uh, having Spider Man and not putting Green Goblin in or. Or like the Kingpin or or any Kingpin, any major, but they didn't. I don't know. It's it, no. It's like doing Batman movies, like six without Batman movies Joker. without the Joker. Yeah. yeah, there's. I don't think there's many that are tied as as deeply as those those to each other. It's like Thor without Loki. It's like, uh, you know. I mean, I would I would say Spider Man without any of the goblins since the, he was so Green tied Goblin, in yeah. to to like. Their, their family a, and all that. Yeah, he's he's a uh, yeah. You're right. He's best friends. His friend's dad and all yeah. that kind of stuff. So Green Goblin, and Hobgoblin, which was, I don't I, mind I think them that, not doing them. I don't, I don't either. I don't but, find that villain being that interesting. Which, you know, now that. that I think about it, um, well, I guess they met in college or whatever. But I think well, the, the original the friends growing up. I think. Yeah, that's that was the thing I was about to point out. You know, Harry Osborn and Peter Parker or whatever. What was this, what was, was it? Harry's the son, Norman's the father. The Osborns, so had, right. Both the Osborns have been yeah. one Green Goblin and Hobgoblin. Well, I know that, I but think. the point of the connection I was trying to make yes. in Far From Home, there is no Harry Osborn character. At least right now. Right. Yeah. Like, it's like, but like that's the thing. They were childhood friends growing up. So does that mm-hmm. mean that uh, what the fuck's his name? The fat kid that Peter always. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It turns out that kid's Harry Osborn. Oh, my God. Oh, shit. Like, he no, turns into I the Hobgoblin? Fun. I remember when they showed trailers and stuff uh, because they kind of. He looks like a rich. He, he is a rich kid. He, he mocks Harry. Uh, oh, talking about. Uh, the douchebag oh streamer. Flash, I think his name is. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He ends up being Flash, so it's not it's not Harry Osborn, but I thought maybe that would be. But who knows? They Eventually, they might. They could introduce Harry. I hope they don't pull an ass pull like, oh, my God, Harry, I haven't seen you since elementary school. Like, don't don't try that. You've you've shown he's in high school. He's a junior or whatever. Yeah. All right. Uh, Let's wind this down because we're running yeah. really long right now. Um, so, hey, hope you guys enjoyed that. We're talking about Marvel again because we're total Marvel shows that don't get paid for it. <laughs> I, I like the Marvel movies. And, I mean, they do, me. they do. They do fantastic jobs. They, think, so. uh, they fucking uh, hit they, that little spot in my heart. Yeah, nostalgia. They diddle my fucking 
They diddle your heart. They diddle. I don't know. I was they trying diddle. to make a fucking sexual reference, but I can't think God of it. Damn it. <laughs> they diddle me in right the right spots. <laughs> they touch my special spot yeah. in just the right way. <laughs> they, they they fucking get my giblets going. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. We're yep. going to go ahead and sign off here because we've been going a really long time now. A uh, little bit longer than our normal episodes. Uh, so there you go. If you liked what we liked, you know, what we liked, had to say, rather, uh, you know, give us a like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Keep listening uh, to us. Go to Patreon if you really love us. Give us a buck. Yeah. Um, you know, because every little bit helps. Give us a buck instead of giving those, uh, you know, cam girls and porn artists all your money <laughs> yeah give them to us they have enough They'll should want us they make enough money for drawing porn <laughs> oh my god they're showing dude, their tits that dude that whatever. like makes three hundred and sixty thousand dollars a year making that furry porn game developing a furry furry porn game all yeah. right guys um but we're not going to talk about that anymore because that is the that's what the panda needed was patreon oh my god it's still be alive um <laughs> guys so for the ungodly geeks i was joe i was luke you guys have a good day <laughs> oh fuck yeah always <laughs>